Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and I want to welcome you to my lesson video on linear compositions, so let's get started. The term composition of functions, or composite function, refers to the combining of functions in a matter where the output from one function becomes the input for the next function. So in math terms, what that means is the range, meaning the y values, your answers from the first function become the domain or the x values of the next function. So in our first example, let's look at the two functions in the box. f of x equals 12x minus 4 and g of x equals 4x plus 6. So we are going to find f of g of 3. That's how you would say this composite function, f of g of 3. The hint that I want to give you is to work from the inside out. Now this is very important to remember this hint because if you don't remember it, it is easy to get confused which function you're working with. So here we go. I'm going to take the number 3 and I'm first going to plug it into the g of x equation. Then I will take that answer, or the output, and I will plug that in for the x of the f of x equation. And it's going to look something like this. g of 3 is equal to 4 times 3. Instead of 4 times x, it's 4 times 3 plus 6. And now we can start to simplify that. 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 12 plus 6, and we know that 12 plus 6 is 18. Now we are going to take the 18 and plug it into the f of x equation. So that's going to look like this. f of 18 is equal to 12 times 18 minus 4. Do you notice how the output of my first equation became the input of my second equation? Remember that g of 3 is merely stating what does y equal when x is 3? So 18 is the y value. And remember in our definition earlier we said the output becomes the input. So the y becomes the new x. So now let's just continue by simplifying this. 12 times 18 is 216. So we have 216 minus 4, and we know that is 212. So we are saying that f of g of 3 equals 212. Next, we are going to look at another type of composite function, so let's get going. Now we are going to find g of f of x. Now, in our previous example, the x right here, they actually gave us the number 3, so we were finding g of f of 3. This time we're finding g of f of x. And what that means is we are going to take the f of x equation and substitute it for the x variable or the x value in the g of x equation. And again, if you notice, we are working from the inside out. We're using the f of x equation to put in place of the x value in the g equation. So I'm going to rewrite g of f of x like this. g of 3x plus 3 is equal to. Now all I did is I took 3x plus 3, which came from my f of x equation, and I'm going to plug it in for the x in the g equation. So we have g of 3x plus 3 is equal to 5, and here I go, I'm going to substitute the 3x plus 3 in for the x. So we have 5 times 3x plus 3, and then we finish the g equation, minus 1. Now we are ready to simplify. So I know that 5 times 3x is 15x, 
and 5 times 3 is 15, and then minus 1. Now I can combine my like terms of 15 minus 1, so I'm going to have 15x, and 15 minus 1 is 14, so plus 14. So g of f of x is equal to 5x, excuse me, is equal to 15x plus 14. Now it's your turn. I want you to find f of g of x. At this time, if you will pause your video so that you can try it by yourself, and then once you have come up with your answer, push replay or push play, and I will show you my answer. So how did you do? I want you to look to see if your answer is the same as mine. I got my answer is f of g of x is equal to 15x. So let's go through the steps. Because it is f of g of x, I need to take the g of x equation and plug it into the x for the f of x equation. So that means I'm taking this 5x minus 1 and I will be substituting it for the x in the 3x plus 3. So that's why I rewrote it like this. Instead of saying f of x, I have f of 5x minus 1. So that means 5x minus 1 will be substituted for what was the x right here. So that means f of 5x minus 1 equals 3 times 5x minus 1 plus 3, which is equal to, and here again, you distribute. So we've got it's equal to 15x minus 3, and then you just bring down this 3. And then we can simplify. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And so our answer is 15x. f of g of x is equal to 15x. I hope this video has helped you understand linear compositions, and I look forward to working with you again. Bye-bye.